Let's talk charging solutions for your laptop. Welcome to another video, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gabriel Carrillo, AKA EdTechBytes. If this is your first time tuning in, make sure you like, subscribe, comment on this video or other videos in the past. Check out the previous videos because I've got all EdTech and food content on this channel that you do not want to miss out on. So like I said, this video is all about charging solutions for your laptop. At the FETC conference in New Orleans earlier this year, I was able to connect with J5 Create, Jared Schwartz, big shout out to you, Jared, thanks for hooking us up, was able to get me a couple of different storage slash peripheral solutions for my MacBook Air. I've got a MacBook Air uh, M1, and it's only got two USB-C ports on the side. That's for peripherals, that's for charging, that's for everything. So having to lug around a dongle, multiple dongles, or having dongles go out on you, it's kind of a pain in the butt. And he was able to shoot over a couple things. He sent me over three things. We're gonna talk about all three right now. First one that I'm gonna talk about is the 100 watt power delivery USB-C charger. This is just a straight up charging solution for your laptop. If you're like me with a, something that charges via USB-C, actually this one is made specifically for MacBooks, MacBook Airs and MacBook Pros. This one is a great solution. What I like about this is rather than having that big charging brick on the wall and then a really long USB-C cable, this one is like a typical Windows style charger, Chromebook charger, where you have your plug, you've got a lead of cable, you've got the power brick, and you got your other end of the cable, which is USB-C. But what I like about this one is it's got a USB-A port directly on the brick itself. So if you are out and about, maybe you go to a coffee house or whatever and you need to plug in your phone, you can plug in your uh, this here, charge your laptop, and then also plug in something USB-A like your, I don't know, your phone, your AirPods or something, and have those charge at the same time all through this one solution. I've got this in my Clothis. If you guys check out any of my streams or videos, you'll know that I have a little Clothis. And uh, it just works. I haven't had any overheating issues or anything like that. So great solution here. J5 power delivery USB-C charger. The next one I have here is the USB-C dual HDMI docking station. This is a big, this is a big one here. Now, what I like about this one here is it is an all-in-one 10 functions, literally has 10 functions. Ethernet, it's got a Kensington lock, full-size micro SD card slot, micro SD card slot, microphone slash speaker, AKA your aux plugin, two HDMI ports for external monitors, 4K by the way, three USB 3.0 ports, as well as a USB-C power in. You plug in your USB-C cable into this, and then it has its own USB-C cable that plugs into your laptop and it serves as your docking station. What I like about this is it has a little trap door device or <laughs> whatever you wanna call it. And that way you can run the cable either to the left or to the right side, depending on your charging port for your particular laptop. And it hides, it does a really good job of hiding the cable and it elevates the laptop. That way there's some airflow underneath it. That way it uh, doesn't overheat. And like I said, I've been using this for a couple weeks and I haven't had any overheating issues. So this here is a great solution. If for your home office or what have you, if you're working with multiple monitors and you have a MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, any one of those, the 10 in one dual HDMI docking station is definitely the way to go. The last one and my favorite one is the 130 watt uh, GAN USB-C 4 port charger. It's a four in one charging solution. So it's basically like my MacBook Air power brick. However, it has four USB ports, three USB-C, one USB-A. Two out of the three USB-Cs are 100 watt power delivery. The other one is 20. So let's say you wanted to plug in your MacBook, your iPad, and maybe your phone. You plug this in, there's a little USB, I'm sorry, a little LED light that indicates that it's plugged in and getting power. You plug in your three devices, you have those three cables, you plug them in, done. You're charging all three with the correct power management and power delivery on the go with this one device. Now I will say that this one brick is heavy, it is bulky, it's not the prettiest thing to carry around, but it works. 
take a look at the size comparison compared to the original MacBook Air charger. And you'll see that it's a lot bulkier, a lot bigger in every way, shape or form. However, it's my favorite. You can see the size here. Here are the prongs. When you flip them out, you got your four USBs back here. This thing is heavy in my hand, but it is by far my favorite. What I like about this is if you travel, like I said, go to a coffee house, maybe you're going to conferences and you just need power on the go for all of your devices. Here's this one brick. All you gotta do is take a couple cables with you, whether they're USB-C or USB-A, and it just works. So three different solutions here, three different solutions for different things. Home office, you got that 10-in-1 dual HDMI docking station. That's a must if you have a home office. I actually have my little setup back here and it's plugged in, ready to go. I've got my two terabyte hard drive plugged in as well as other peripherals in the, black, in the back. I've got my GoPros and all that that I, I'm always putting in my SD card slots and that, putting them in there and it just works. And then as far as my little Clophis, I have my other little charger, the other J5, and that just works. I haven't had any overheating solution, over, uh, overheating problems with any of these. They just work and if you're on the go, this right here, the GAN USB-C 4 port charger is definitely the way to go. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Check out J5 Create, do a quick Google search or click on the link in the description of this video to check them out. Pick something up, pick up all three, check out their other charging and peripheral solutions as well. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, make, thank you very much for joining. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, check out the past videos, tell somebody else about the channel, help grow and support, and check out J5 Create and what they have to offer for your laptop charging solutions. Buen provecho.